the solar flower is a unique way of gathering energy from the sun with a, a set of solar panels that opens and closes depending on how bright and sunny it is. So at night it closes up and it cleans itself and in the morning it looks at the sun and it opens itself back up and if there's a storm coming and there's high winds it also closes itself to protect itself. That's unique. Inside the pillar there is a battery system that gathers the energy when it's not in use and stores it in a battery and uh, then there's a set of wires going to the school and inside a classroom there the kids can look at what's going on, change the way that it operates by optimizing how it works between the draw um, and the generation and the storage and they can plug things in and, and do their own school projects with it. As we get it operational and now it's starting to power the classroom, we're really excited to start the conversation around alternative energy sources, um, thinking about the technology of how it works, um, integrating it into a lot of science curriculum. Well, we know that, that green technology is going to be critical to Saskatchewan and to the world, and so we want to be on the forefront to really educate our young people about uh, what it is, um, how important it is for climate change, and then be able to, to uh, capture that and then to be able to, to get them to learn about it. This is the very first educational microgrid powered by a solar flower in Canada. Um, and Saskatchewan was in the running against all the other provinces in the country to see who could put together a proposal to be able to uh, get it past the finish line first. And we did. So uh, this, is, this is unique in the country. It's also a model for what we're going to see now, I think, across the country and here in Saskatchewan.